Thomas Massa coming at you with another Max Flight Outdoors video. I'm here with my buddy Jameson today. What's going on? Uh, we're out here to today, looking to do a little walleye fishing. We'll see if it actually happens or not. I'm probably gonna end up bass fishing by the end of the day. Uh, I don't know, 55 degrees today probably. Oh. I'm thinking our water temp's sitting about in that area too, so I don't think the fish will be moving up a lot today, being that the shallows won't be warming up. Uh, there's no sun today, we're overcast. Uh, had some really good days fishing overcast though, so hopefully, hopefully today is one of those days. We'll catch you guys when there's some fish. I got it. Goddamn, they fight hard. Oh, you munched that thing, baby. Yes, sir. Right away. Yes, sir. Out here, crushing them. On the chatter, baby, baby, crushing them. Yes, sir, a nice little smolly there. Pre-spawn, fat, full of eggs. Beautiful little smolly. Smoked him on the chatter, baby. Now we're having a day, now we're having a day. I gotta turn the GoPro on for a nice little release footage here. Casted at those trees there, and we got off the trees away, if I'm not gonna say he was on the trees. About seven feet deep right here. We're drifting towards where he was. It's actually two rocks right there where we're marking. He might have been sitting up on those rocks, I'm not entirely sure, but. Go here. Later, bud. Yes, sir. We're on to a pattern now. They are shallow, the fish are up. Which is when I thrive, so that's, we're looking good today. Nice fish, nice fish. Stay down, baby, stay down. Oh my God. Nice bass. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna do this. Front of the boat's kind of cluttered up. I need somewhere to swing him to, kind of. Oh man, that's a nice one. Did you jump again? All right, if we can get him turned up again, we'll flip him. Come on, baby. Come up. Boom! Boom! How about that? Yes, sir. Oh, man. I was not expecting that. Not at all. He inhaled that thing. Absolutely inhaled it. He's been caught before, too, because he's got a hole over on this side of his mouth. We tricked him again, though. Oh man, that black chatterbait. We've been getting some nice marks back up in here under the boat. I let the chatterbait, chatterbait sink once, and we're in kind of a really steep, steep drop here. So I let it sink once into the bottom because that's where you're we marking them, was in the middle of the channel. And I had nothing on that cast, so I just kind of willy nilly flipped it up under that rock over there. And I mean, he was on it instantly. Oh. Oh, sweet. That was sweet. Hammered that chatterbait. Get a quick release on him. <sighs> yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. That's how we do. We've definitely missed some, missed some opportunities, missed some bites. Uh, we did go to a spot this morning that definitely was not, was not it though. So, or we're, uh, we're starting to narrow in on a pattern. We're done with the walleyes though. We're gonna go narrow in on a bass pattern since I caught that two pounder just a little bit ago. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can catch some more, replicate, replicate what we saw with that one fish. Catch y'all in. I don't even think it's rain, I think it's mist. Wow, okay then, that is insane. That came up out of absolutely nowhere. <laughs> that is some driving rain. What is up guys, it's Thomas Massa and Jameson. 
Uh, it's about 3.15. We got blown off the water today. I hate to say that. Cause, That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, I hate, I hate to say that because uh, we get a lot of wind around here, so we're kind of used to it. But today it was absolutely brutal. I mean, it's a little rough. can't even drive the boat. I mean, for, I'm trying to, like, tie on a new lure, and he's having to hand me everything because I can't even reach back to the tackle box without us blowing 25 feet off the spot. I mean, just crazy wind. It's got to be... And the thing is, it's not steady either. It'd be one thing if it was steady wind, but I mean, it's probably gusting up to 40, and then it lets off back down to maybe 10, probably closer to five. And then it <laughs> hits with a 40 mile an hour gust that shakes the truck while we're sitting in it here. So um, I think we were on a good pattern, honestly. That black chatterbait, I ended up hooking a fish back there. I'll probably put it in the video where I just snapped that chatterbait off. I think that was a big fish back there rip to all of your momentum that snapped me off that was a big fish that was a really big fish um but that black chatterbait was really the ticket i mean that was the only pattern we found all day but it was working for us i mean well. we really probably only had 45 minutes where we were really fishing with that pattern and we got on two nice bass and what I, I'm only going to assume way back up in that creek was another big bass back there. So we really had the black chatterbait with the white trailer going. I think that was working well for us. We just couldn't couldn't keep working with our pattern with the wind being the way it was and then me losing that chatterbait. And I don't, don't happen to have any more black chatterbaits. I fish a lot of white when it comes to chatterbaits. So I've got about eight white chatterbaits, but I don't have any more black ones. I don't even have anything that's dark colored that I like to fish. I tried another one from a different company, but it just didn't work as well. Those Z-Man chatterbaits, there's something about them. They work through the water really well. So unfortunately, yeah, we didn't, didn't end up getting any more fish, but uh, hopefully we can in the next video. Catch you guys later.